Hey everybody, I'm back again. I had to delete the uh, the video, uh, the live video, because it looks like the Wi-Fi is like really messing up. So anyway, what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do short videos, and we're gonna practice with just one segment at a time, okay? And then let's see how it goes, because it it's several things. My uh, my phone is uh, sometimes it it heats up. And it stops the video, or I think it has to do with the Wi-Fi. But anyway, we're going to work with one technique at a time, and then I'll just load it and see how it goes. Okay, so this one is something that I that I saw on Google. And um, I had to, like, analyze it first. And uh, it's just drawing. Hold on. Let's get another clean paper because you can see the what I drew behind the paper, so it's better to use a cleaner paper. Start all over again. So I'm using a, a dark purple pencil. And then the rest, I'm going to do it in black. Okay, so again, we're going to use the Loomis method and by now I'm pretty sure you guys know how the Loomis method works okay <clears throat> and you start off you know in four quarters right and then you divide the face into three parts that's the Loomis method and you can actually do that same process in ovals okay so this is going to be a woman. And then I indicate the side where I'm going to slice off. Right? Make sure it's even on both sides. And it's going to be like a tennis ball shape. That's what I'm trying to do here, like a like a tennis ball shape. And the Loomis method is something like this, straight down like that. But this is sort of like a tennis ball shape. So keep in mind that it's similar to the Loomis method, except this is more like uh, a tennis ball method. And it's probably going to remind you probably like the Riley method. So here's my eyes here. And I indicate where my eyes are going to be at, my eyebrows would be around here, temple lines, that's also important, and make sure that it's three eye width, the same length, okay? So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do ovals or diamond shape for the eyes. But remember that the eye is going to be on top of the line. That way it will be even down here. Eyelids. We got the eyebrows already. The bridge of the nose, the bottom of the nose indicate where that nose, the corner of the nose is going to be at by doing a straight line down. And then right here would be the lips. And right here's the chin, and then this is going to be a little higher. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here is indicate the outline, the contour of the proportions of the face. Notice I did two lines here, right? Because I'm going to make the shape of the face very carefully. Make the shape of the face. 
and make a line for that mouth. The reason why I'm going to make that line is because that way I know where to bring in the jaw, this side and this side. And it should connect with the chin, the contour of the jaw. And, you know, sometimes you got to like bring up the drawing to, to see if the proportions are correct. So far, so good. The side of the head. We'll do the ears. And I already explained many times at the ears how it works. So I'll fix the jaw. And from the corner of the eyes, right here would be the neck. Okay, so um, just make sure you do the ears correct. Let's work with the mouth now. Time out. Cheek lines. And you will see your face will start forming. And then after that, you can add the hair, do the outline of the hair. Okay. And if the hair is covering the ear, that's fine. You know, just cover the ear. Just make sure you erase the ears afterwards. Just leave a little bit so that way they'll show in the bottom here. Maybe some hair banging down right here. Have a very sexy look on our hairstyle or something. With this method, believe it or not, <clears throat> you can do... Um, faces with this okay now the eyes remember that the eyes are you can use a circle indicate the uh, segments and then shape the eye if you want like a diamond shape Sort of like a hint of a diamond shape. And then form the eyes. And then from the corner here, you're going to actually see like a diamond shape. And remember the temple line. That's important. And the eyebrow is two shapes okay so you can use the eyeball shape you can use the oval to draw the eyes or you can use the arc but make sure that the alignment just like i'm doing now that is done correctly Always, you know, do the shape of the eye. The same thing when you do the eyeball shape. Always remember um, to do the eyelid after you do the shape of the eye. That's the same that goes with the arc. When you're using the arc, use do the eyelid. Okay? <clears throat> okay. 
All right, this is going to be a short video for now because the problem is that my phone is heating up and it's just too much data. And um, what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to finish this. That way it looks a little bit, I wouldn't say realistic because this, this actually, you know, I did this from my head. So... But the method really works when it comes to drawing faces. If you're into drawing realistic faces, this is going to actually work for you. Okay. And remember, the women's neck is slender. All right. From the corner of the eyes, that would, that would be the length of the neck. And then at the same time, you can do a V shape, but just leave one line only and a little hint of where the center of the veins are. Something like that, you see? Because remember, women have veins. They don't have an Adam's apple. Okay. Like I explained before, the man of the neck is a big V shape and then sort of like a round shape in the center, sort of like a, an open V shape. That would be the Adam's apple for the man's neck. Okay. And then the neck is thicker. And the jaw... You know, the jaw of a man is strong, okay? And then the woman, which I'll do right here, the woman's neck is slender, but it has veins like this. But be careful from the difference of the neck, okay? All right, my friends, good luck. And this is, like I said, we're going to do short videos from now on because it looks like it takes time to load. And at the same time, the phone heats up. So hopefully this will work out for you. And we'll do a little bit of everything slowly. Thank you for watching and leave me your comments and tell me if you like this.